Hello, everyone. Hello, bonjour. Uh, it's great to see all your faces. Many of you have been to campfires before. Some of you are new. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad we can all be here together for this very special end of year campfire. I am coming to you today. I'm in Ontario and the weather is just wild here today. It keeps getting hot and then it gets cold and then there's like a wind coming. It feels like a storm is going to come in. And I'm so curious, where are you right now? If you want to put it in the chat, where are you? And what is the weather like where you are somewhere in Canada today? Although we're all meeting virtually, we're joining from our homes all across Canada, which means we're all on the traditional territory of many different nations. So I'd like to invite you all now to uh, take part in a land acknowledgement with me. You can stand up if you like or stay seated. So to get started, we reach down and touch the land and say, hello land. Reach towards the sky and say, hello sky. Put your arms around yourself and say, hello me. Put your arms around somebody else, hello you. I recognize and thank the Indigenous people who came here before me, here in Toronto. I thank the Mississaugas of the Credit, the uh, Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. I also thank the many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people who live here with me now, and those who will live here after me. I promise to take care of this land, its animals, and its people. Here we go, ready? Hello, land. Hello, sky. Hello, me. Hello, you. Tonight is a very special night. The guiding year is wrapping up and what a wacky year it's been from virtual meetings to porch drop-offs to online activities. This year has had so many challenges. Like many of you, I've really struggled to see my friends and family only on online. And yet we have overcome so many challenges and the guiding sisterhood is as strong as ever. And we are so proud of what all of you have done to make this incredible year what it has been. So tonight we celebrate. We go coast to coast to coast with all of our friends across Canada to see what everyone has been up to and to celebrate our collective triumph. But first, we need a snack. Be right back. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and I'm joining you from Ontario. I'm currently a ranger and I'm a girl assistant for a guide unit. Girl assistants are guide pathfinder and ranger age girls who volunteer with younger branches in a junior leader role by helping out the guiders. A girl assistant helps younger girls work together, plan and lead exciting activities, and they develop their leadership skills in the process. All across Canada, there are so many units who have awesome girl assistants volunteering with them. I've been volunteering as a girl assistant for about two years now and I love it because it's a great way to build a relationship with the younger girls since you're so close in age. 
My favorite memory of being a girl assistant is when we're talking to the guides about what they're passionate about. One very specific topic is about the environment and I love to hear all the things that they want to do inside and outside of guiding to help make the world a better place. And I get to learn so much from the guides and I hope that they learn a lot from me too. So to all our girl assistants watching tonight, thank you for all you do. Your leadership and guidance are so needed and so valued. You are such amazing role models for the younger members and you should be so proud that you are helping them become everything that they want to be. Hi there, I'm Alyssa and I'm from Ontario. If you're a member of Girl Guides, you've probably heard of awards. Awards are a way of recognizing youth members who have gone above and beyond in their guiding activities. While all our members shine bright, some of our guides, pathfinders, and rangers deserve special acknowledgement for their achievements tonight. There have been so many girls across Canada who have earned awards this year, from the Lady Bane Powell Award in Guides to the Trailblazer Award in Rangers. Girls haven't let COVID-19 stop them. In fact, there are girls working on awards as I speak, and this year's numbers are still rolling in. Two years ago, I earned my Canada Court, and it was really special to me because it took me three years to complete it, and it showed me how hardworking I was. I was able to plan my own camp as well as complete a service project by myself. I'm currently working on my Trailblazer Award, but this year, instead of doing one big service project, I did multiple little ones. One of my favorite ones I did this year was make a flower craft for a retirement home in my community to make them feel like they're not alone during this pandemic. I'm looking forward to completing it this next guiding year. Please join me in congratulating some of our many members who have earned an award this year. and welcome to Nunavut. We wanted to celebrate something pretty special right now, advancement. For those who may not know, advancement means moving from one branch to the next branch, like when a second year spark becomes a first year brownie. Advancement is a time for girls to reflect on all they've accomplished in their current branch and look forward to all the adventures they'll have in the next one. Advancement is special to me because I've advanced through every branch since brownies and although it can be scary, it's also really exciting to have new opportunities. In Pathfinders, I've gotten to be a member of the Ontario Nunavut Youth Forum and be a host for this very campfire video. I've made lots of memories throughout the years and I'm looking forward to being a ranger in the fall. Here's what some of our members from across the country have to share about advancement. My favorite memory from Sparks is the frozen camp. My favorite memory of being a brownie was making an edible campfire. My favorite memory from guides was making new friends because all the girls that I met were very, very kind to me and so was I to them. Mon souvenir préféré de Pathfinders était pendant ma première année quand nous sommes allés faire du camping. C'était en novembre et c'était la première fois que j'ai essayé de faire un randonnée au site. Mon souvenir préféré de Rangers était notre dîner avec le programme Out of the Cold pour des gens sans abri à Toronto. Nous avons préparé et servi un repas chaud à une église en ville. Excited to meet new friends. I am so excited to be a guide because I love to make food and love planning camping trips. I'm excited to go into Pathfinders because there will be a lot of new activities and people to meet. Je suis très heureux d'être un ranger l'année prochaine pour tant de raisons. 
Tout d'abord, je suis tellement excitée pour prendre le contrôle sur mon expérience avec l'aide de mes camarades et de mes guiders. Je suis également excitée par le fait que je serai une part plus proche à devenir un guider et de vraiment avoir l'opportunité d'aider les jeunes membres. Don't be afraid to spike, it's a lot of fun. It, my advice to a brownie is to be respectful and kind. My advice for new guides this year would be to be kind to others and let friendship guide your path because that's what I did and I really had a nice year. Mon conseil à un nouveau Pathfinder est de vraiment profiter des opportunités qui vous êtes offrées. Prenez votre temps en Pathfinders pour vraiment être vous-même, pour apprendre et de simplement vous amuser. Mon conseil à un nouveau Ranger est d'être fidèle à vous-même et d'agir selon vos croyances, non pas les croyances des autres. All right, we're getting there. This year was also full of so many warm and fuzzy moments and little memories. One of my favorites was joining a unit meeting where we all dressed as our favorite book characters. It was fabulous. I loved it. It was great. I went as Dory Phantasmagory. Do you know her? She's so cool. Here are some of our favorite memories from this year. And if while you're watching, you have a favorite memory to share, put it in the comments so we can all join in your warm and fuzzy moment with you.
we break for summer, we were thinking about ways to stay connected. And I thought I'd plant this little plant in my garden. And every time I care for it and water it, I'll just think about guiding. I'll think about my guiding friends. I'll think about the memories and I'll look forward to next year. So if you have a little plant that you could plant or one that you could designate in your house or your neighborhood that's one that you care for and every time you look at it, maybe you just give a little thought to guiding and know that we'll all be thinking about each other. Here, I'll put this one in the ground. Okay, can you see this? Let's see. Okay, this one is going in right here. And that's it. Happy guiding. Hi, I'm Elizabeth from Ontario, and I'll be singing the Quartermaster's Store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my spectacles with me. is drawing to a close. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got the fire ready. It's time for an evening of quiet reflection. I hope that our tour from coast to coast to coast celebrating all of the amazing things that everyone has done has brought you some joy. And thank you for all that you did this year to make this year special. Thank you for your resilience, your sense of humor, your creativity, your kindness, the joy that you were able to bring to yourself and to other people. You have made a difference. You have made guiding better. To our rangers who are graduating this year, congratulations! We can't wait to see you as guiders next year. We know that you will do and bring amazing things. For everyone who is joining next year, the registration information is coming up so we can have the next amazing guiding year. And until then, have a wonderful and safe summer. We'll see you next year. Bye for now.